The guy I knew who dated a female orphan. Okay, so this is a true life story about a dude I knew years and years ago. So this was back in the college years, and my friend at the time was about 23 years old. Anyways, at junior college, my friend met this 20 year old chick in one of his classes, and this sucker fell hardcore in love with her. Let's just say, he was poose whipped, big time. So my friend was 23 and he lived with his parents. His parents were pretty rich and all that stuff, like upper middle class. Anyways, his 20 year old new girlfriend was just about ready to get kicked out of her sister's house. So she sweet talked him into asking his parents if she could move into his bedroom with him at his parents' house. At first, his parents did not like the idea of this. They didn't want some 20 year old chick shacking up with their son, getting laid under their roof. So she asked the parents herself. She fed them the whole story about how she's just about ready to get kicked out of her sister's house and how she's an orphan and her parents passed away when she was four years old and all this stuff. And she basically told the parents that she had no other place to turn to and she was about ready to be out on the streets. She had to sell her case to the parents because this was a really tough bargain. The go-to story she told them was, You don't know what it's like not being raised by loving parents. Your family was born into wealth. I have nothing and all this type of stuff. So, the parents agreed that she could stay if she worked, she paid rent, and she continued to go to college. And she had to move out within six months. That was her deadline right there. Six months. So they both agreed, and she moved in. And just like that, this sucker right here was getting some hot, low self-esteem, hot topic love and freak sex. And he loved it. He lived at home. He got free food. He didn't have to clean or anything. He didn't have to work except go to junior college every day, and he had his own personal bedroom freak sharing the room with him. Fast forward six months later, and no progress anywhere was made. She had no job, no steps towards an apartment. They just smoked all day and hung out while his parents were at work. So the parents got mad. They had enough. They attempted to kick out the 20-year-old orphan chick. And yet again, she said she had nowhere to go and life dealt her an unfortunate family situation by being an orphan and all this stuff, so they extended her deadline another three months. This three month deadline sort of freaked her out. She didn't want to work or go to any type of respectable college. She just wanted to take junior college art classes all day and sleep in till 2 p.m. and smoke all night, but she felt the deadline a lumen. So the next month, she started making a whole bunch of guy friends all of a sudden. Her cell phone was flooded with dudes from junior college classes out of the blue. She kept assuring her boyfriend, Don't worry, they're just friends. My personality only allows me to have guy friends. I hate other chicks and all this stuff, right? All these BS excuses for having tons of dudes in her phone out of the blue. The three month deadline approached and she hated my friend's parents more and more. She hated them because they wouldn't let her mooch there and do jack for free. So five days before the deadline, her parents were at work and her boyfriend was at school. She stayed home that day sick. A truck pulled up in front of the house. Inside that truck was one of her quote unquote friends from college. It was a dude friend. A guy friend she was banging secretly. A guy friend who had his own apartment. She told the dude that she needed his help to move the stuff out of there and into his apartment. She loaded up the truck with her stuff and valuable stuff that belonged to my friend and his parents. She ripped off like a TV a sound bar, electronic devices. She loaded up the mother's entire jewelry dresser and tossed it in the back of his truck. She literally took off with like 25,000 bucks worth of jewelry that was still in there. She got into the truck with him and they took off. My friend never saw the 20 year old orphan chick ever again. They were gone just like that. Banished. Turns out, five years later, my friend looked her up on Facebook or Instagram or whatever the freak it was. She actually did have parents. She was not an orphan, just a pro moocher. Her parents kicked her out at like 18 when they got into like this huge fight because they wouldn't let her have sex at home. So she moved in with her sister on and off, but she only stayed with her sister for a few months at a time. It was just a cycle of her moving from dude to dude, staying at her sister's house, couch surfing at some other guy's house. It was a cycle, a rotation. She apparently did the same stunt to two or three other dudes before my friend, using dudes for a temporary place to stay until she found an upgrade. That's female nature right there, summed up in a nutshell.